The Peacekeeper is one of the strongest weapons in Apex Legends, but it can feel like a gamble. If you miss a single shot in a 1v1, you typically end up losing. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to hit your shots more, and we're also going to myth bust some incorrect assumptions about the PK. The first thing to understand is that the PK has a spray pattern of a 5 pointed star with 11 pellets. Each pellet does 9 damage. If you're hitting 9s, that means that either your aim is off just very slightly, or you're shooting at a moving target. Which leads me to the first tip, which is that if both you and your target are moving, try to aim just a little bit ahead of them. This is because there's a slight delay from when the bullets leave the barrel of the gun to hitting your target. If they're moving, it's possible that even if your crosshair is center chest, it's going to miss, or do less damage because of their momentum. Of course, this doesn't always work. Sometimes your opponent will strafe in the opposite direction right as you shoot and you'll miss. Which leads me to my next tip, which is to try to predict your opponent. When you're in a strafing battle, where both you and your enemy are just going back and forth, let the enemy do the work for you. Predict where they're going and let them line up into your crosshair. The next tip is similar, but instead of letting the enemy's body line up the shot, let your body line the shot up. In the clip you saw at the beginning, I slide and don't move my crosshair at all. I let my body line the shot up and shoot when the crosshair is over my opponent. The final tip is to pick up disruptor rounds whenever you see them. Now, I want to dispel some misconceptions about the PK's choke. I posted a video similar to the one you're watching on TikTok, and I received several comments talking about the choke and saying to disable it because it does more damage, or that you'd have a higher chance to hit shots. So I did some research, both online and in-game. And I can confidently say that according to the results of my testing, disabling the choke does two things. It affects the spread when aiming down sights so that it's always uniform, and it removes the charge up noise that the choke has. Disabling the choke does not affect damage or spread when hip firing. It also does not affect the zoom in speed or the fire speed when aiming down sights. With that being said, in my opinion, I don't really see a use for disabling the choke. If your aim is on target, you probably want smaller spread. If you learned something, I'd greatly appreciate it if you checked out some of my other videos or leave a comment about what you think I should cover next.